Now let's have a look at DHCP snooping in action and see what it does or doesn't do to first the DHCP renewal process. And also we'll probably get a lesson in patience because as some of you may know, working with a Cisco router interface that's getting its address via DHCP can be a little more of an art form than a science sometimes, especially when you get DHCP snooping involved. But I think we'll be fine. It's good real world experience one way or the other. Here's a quick reminder of the setup router too. On its fast ethernet zero slash zero interface, I have IP address DHCP configured. It does not have a static IP address. And you see the port connections first to the switch that's in the middle that isn't running DHCP snooping yet. And you see the port connections there as well. Note the connections are different between the layer two switch and the multi-layer switch. We're not using fast zero slash 12 on each end because I want you to get used to that. It's really neat in labs to be able to always connect like interfaces on a trunk but in the real world it doesn't happen, so I want you to get used to that as well. So let's head out to router two, and there's the config on the fast ethernet interface. And we'll check now to see what, inter what IP address it has. And it's running 10.1.1.4 slash 24. That is the ad address I have on the DHCP server. I didn't show you the config, but that's the network we're assigning it. the address is from, obviously. Thank you, Sir Obvious. I can't say the other obvious anymore. Somebody copyrighted it. Anyway, let's um, let's take a look at this. We've got 10.1.1.4 slash 24, and we have no DHCP snooping running right now. But I just want to see what happens if I try to renew this address right now. And first, I'm going to run debug DHCP, and then do a renew DHCP fast zero slash zero. And it looks good. And I'll wait for the socket to close. We should get a message on that any second now. And there we go. So I'll do a you all while we acknowledge that. Of course, that's Southern for undebug all, which is the command I wanted to run. A couple things to look for here. First, when you see attempting to speed up renewal timer, that's the key that the, that the um, renew has started. And client socket open is a good sign. Sending this out is a good sign. Here's the best sign, received a boot rep packet, because that means you are talking to the DHCP server. And if things go well right after that, there's your assignment. We got the very same address. Here's client pooling allocated IP address with three asterisks, so you know it's important. Allocated IP address 10114, and that is as smooth as it's ever going to go. That's without DHCP snooping going on. Now let's go over to our switch, to the layer two switch in the middle, and we will make DHCP snooping happen. A couple of basic commands. That's as basic as it gets. We just enabled the feature. Now, what was that second step we saw on the list? Hmm. We got database, information, verify, and VLAN. That's the one we wanted. Everybody's in VLAN one, by the way. So we've got that going on, and really that's it because what we're not what we're not going to do is trust any ports. What I will do is show you the verification command for this command or the service, which is show IP DHCP snooping. You see at the top that it is enabled, that it is configured on VLAN one, that it is operational on VLAN one. We don't have it configured on any layer three interfaces. And we're not too concerned about the rest of the information at this point in our studies. What I am concerned about, of course, is that down here we have absolutely no trusted ports whatsoever. Hmm, that could be a problem according to the last video. So let's go over to router two now and see what it looks like if we can't get a renewal. First we'll debug DHCP and then I will renew it. Or will I? Looks good so far. There's your renewal timer, but you see almost immediately we are not getting anything back. And I bet we start seeing sockets opening and closing. Yep, any second now. And you're going to see the sockets opening and closing for a while here. Uh, your mileage may vary on a device that has DHCP snooping in the middle and suddenly can't renew an address. You might get slightly different messages. You'll also see other attempts for entry made. But the thing is, right now, we, we know what the problem is. We enable DHCP snooping on the switch, but yet we don't have any trusted ports. So what we will try first is trusting the port that leads to the DHCP server. 
And how can we make sure of the physical connections? I know I showed you a highly accurate map. At least I hope so. Show CDP neighbor. Never hurts. And you can see the MLS, the multi-layer switch, in local interface is fast, Ethernet 0 slash 12. So we will go there. And it's IP DHCP, snooping, trust. There's the limit value. I'll just show you the iOS help here. Then I mentioned that if you set this rate and you exceed it, it the port will go into error disabled state. But it's not going to go here because we're sticking with trust. And that's it. No options. You're either trusted or you are not. So we will go back over to router 2 and try to renew again. We already see some guts. Those could be old messages, though. We know that. Let's try renewing it again. And there's the attempting to speed up renewal timer. There's the broadcast on fast Ethernet from 10.114. So we know the attempt is going out. But when we don't see a message very quickly about the renewal, it's probably gone wrong, and it has. Let's try you all instead. My A key doesn't seem to be working. There we go. So same result. And let's go back to the board here for a moment and take a look at what's going on. Because this is what happened before is that port 0 slash 12 was untrusted. So the DHCP server message was coming in and it was dropped. But then we went in and we trusted 012 just now. And it doesn't seem to be enough. Maybe we need to trust fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 as well. So let's go back out to the switch and do a show CDP neighbor again, just making sure. And you can see router two is found off fast ethernet zero slash two and we're good. So let's go ahead and trust that port. And we may have a mess here of come out of values. Nope. Let's do a renewal, not in balanced state. Let's do that again. And what I've had to do here from time to time to get it to renew at that point is simply shut the port down and then do a no shut. And we'll probably get a bunch of messages there. You see it hanging. Administratively down, let's let it catch up with itself. The interface is back up. And renew. Do, do, do. Okay, we're still not in balanced state, but there you see attempting to speed up renewal timer, so it's trying. And we have an unknown problem there. Let's hold on and see what's going on. Yeah, it's going through some purging right now, so I'm going to pause the video, let it flow here, and I'll bring you back as soon as that gets its address, because it's definitely... There it goes! <laughs> I knew if I started talking like that, it would. So I'm glad we got to see that. Because this is some excellent DHCP troubleshooting info for you as well. Now that I've turned you all and hit that. So occasionally I have found in real life that you've got to do a shut, no shut at that point when the interface has been trying to get an address and can't get it. Just do a physical reset on it. And especially when you see that not in balanced state, because what you'll see is you'll see this phrase searched for quite a bit out in internet land unknown DHCP problem I mean you will see discussion after discussion on this and it's it seems to be a different situation on every router what I have found is again if you do that reset and you get that unknown problem and you wait it out then you'll be fine and that's exactly what happened here because it basically just said hey we can't get the address we're gonna wait for five seconds try it again and that's exactly what happened here. You see, try to to acquire address, allocation request, zapping entry. I love saying that. In DHC purging state, which we weren't too concerned about. But if you just give it a few seconds, then you're going to get your packet. There's your offer received. You're even seeing where the offer is coming in from. And requested IP address option 10115. So we got the next address up in the pool. And here's your notification of assignment. Here's your pool, your allocated address, and your mask. So you're set. So on top of everything else, on top of actually seeing DHCP snooping in action, you also get some bonus DHCP troubleshooting info. Because like I said, every once in a while, getting an address on a Cisco router interface 
or a switch interface, uh, L3 interface that is, can be a little tricky. So don't be scared to do a physical reset when you run into something like that. But here we got the address because finally we trusted both ports in this deal. Both ports have to be trusted there for the DHCP server message to go all the way through. That was a renewal. What I'm going to do next is bring router 3 online and we're going to see the process from the very beginning and see if there's any difference. And that is coming up next.